the mighty barbarians of Ariat. Part of the lineage of the mighty Bull Kathos, the true Immortal King. The Barbarian made its first appearance in Diablo 2, and with the remaster coming out hopefully sooner than later, I thought now would be a good time to showcase some of the Barbarian's abilities for newer players, as well as show off the visual changes. This is Tales for Game Lord Dash, diving into the class skills of the Barbarian in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Combat Skills Barbarians train their entire lives to hone their combat prowess, and their experience in the art of warfare and physical dominance reflects this, channeling their legendary strength to battle the forces of darkness. Bash The renowned brute strength of the Barbarian makes itself readily evident in the ability Bash. The heavy addition to damage plus powerful knockback serves to keep the enemies at arm's length, or given the right situation, can lock them up and keep them from gaining any ground at all. Leap. Jump around, jump around, jump up and over obstacles and unnecessarily complicated pathways like the jungles of Karost in Act 3. Leap serves to move the barbarian quickly across terrain and out of sticky situations at a moment's notice even indoors in areas with a perceivably low roof. Double Swing Part of the training of the Barbarian is to train with a weapon in either hand, allowing for moments in combat where each hand is wielding a tool of death, including swords not meant for one hand. Double Swing requires the Barbarian to be in such a state, wielding a weapon in each hand. At a small and diminishing cost of mana, gain a boost to attack rating while slaughtering your enemies. This skill is okay at earlier levels, but abilities like Frenzy outshine it. Stun. A barbarian's training often teaches them where to strike an opponent to inhibit them from moving or acting. Stun adds a decent boost of attack rating and stuns the enemy for a set duration depending on skill level, with higher levels increasing the duration as well as attack rating. This means they are unable to act or move for a short period of time. Not all enemies can be stunned like act bosses and most boss monsters and super uniques have high stun resistance. Double Throw Focusing on throwing a singular weapon can be a bit tedious. Barbarians having trained to wield two weapons can sling multiple weapons in swift succession of each other, increasing their overall effectiveness with ranged weaponry, and even increasing their effectiveness with bonuses to attack rating. Leap Attack Leap high into the air and slam down with your equipped weapon. Increased skill ranks increase the base damage of the attack upon landing to a devastating amount. This ability behaves just like leap, only it ends in an attack. Thus, leap attack. Concentrate. Place the barbarian in a focused combat state, increasing his defense as well as his attack rating and damage. Barbarians gain the martial discipline to gain perfect clarity in deep combat situations. Frenzy. Channeling his ferocious battle spirit, the barbarian wielding dual weaponry rushes the enemy with furiously swift blows that drive him into a, well, frenzy. Consecutive hits build up attack and movement speed for a short period of time and transfers to other skills during this instance, but can only be built up again using frenzy. Whirlwind. As cousins of the druids, barbarians whip themselves into a whirling physical representation of nature's fury, spinning themselves rapidly, damaging enemies all around as they move through their foes. Berserk. The barbarian can channel his fury into an attack so potent that it transcends physical properties. Berserk turns the barbarian's damage into magic damage for a short period of time, overcoming stone skin, monsters with physical immunities, thorn auras, and even Iron Maiden curses. The downside is after the ability ends, his defense is reduced to zero for a short period of time. War Cries Along with overwhelming physical prowess, the inner strength of the Barbarian allows them to cry out and influence the world around them, either by affecting their enemies or bolstering their allies and even themselves. Howl Cry out and frighten your enemies, causing them to flee from you. Howl affects monsters based on your level compared to the enemy's level, factoring in the skill level which at higher levels becomes less and less effective. Therefore, the points that you would spend in this ability could absolutely be better spent in other abilities. Find Potion 
Even in death, no one is safe from the Barbarian's roar. This ability allows you to scream a corpse into submission, dropping a potion of a certain type based on a percentage chance. Corpses treated in this way cannot be affected by necromancers. Sorry, boneheads. Big guy needed a potion. Taunt. The opposite of howl. Draw enemies toward you, putting the Barbarian in a target-rich environment and even potentially dragging enemies off of allies, all while demoralizing the enemy, lowering their damage and attack rating. Shout. Bolster your allies, preparing them for the fight ahead and strengthening their resolve, giving them and yourself a boost to defense. This bonus stacks with bonuses from other abilities like the Barbarian's Iron Skin passive buff, turning him into a hardcore meat shield. Find Item. Just like the Find Potion ability, Find Item forces enemies to possibly hork up an item potentially of magic quality or better, up to and including unique and even high runes. This is especially useful if the Barbarian has higher magic find, and while this doesn't work on every corpse, such as act bosses and some super unique more skill points increases the potential of finding items. Eh, barbarians don't like what the enemy drop, they can demand more. Such prima donnas. Battle Cry. Much like Howl, Battle Cry causes enemies to flee while simultaneously lowering their defense and damage percentages, which makes it easier for the barbarian to divide and conquer. Battle Orders unquestionably the most popular ability in the Barbarian's War Cry line, with most emphasizing putting maximum ranks into it. Battle orders last for a great length of time, boosting max hit points, stamina, and mana. Use it to keep yourself and your party in tip-top physical condition for long stays out in the field. Grim Ward. Necromancers aren't the only ones raising up freaky deaky skeletal effigies. Scream a bone statue into existence that casts a terror curse on monsters that draw near. While not terribly practical, it's still a really cool effect and proves necromancers aren't the only creepy ones in Sanctuary. Haters. War Cry. The Barbarian's War Cries are not just for affecting stats and demanding more out of your slain, as War Cry can actually be used to deal damage and stun enemies in a given radius. While not supremely high in damage, it's pretty cool that certain builds have been formed around utilizing this ability. After all, barbarians can even be considered warrior poets. Battle Command, the final and arguably most handy war cry, become your own skill shrine with Battle Command, adding plus one to all skills for yourself and other characters and their minions. Combat Masteries. The final list of abilities is a far simpler one than the previous two, and arguably the simplest line in the game, as its primary focus is simply adding passive buffs to bolster the Barbarian's moment-to-moment -moment prowess. Weapon Masteries Trained in all forms of weaponry, the Barbarian has the potential to become focused in one or multiple weapons, gaining additional damage and critical chance with the selected weapon type. Is swordplay your aesthetic? Or perhaps a large two-handed weapon. So many options to choose from, so think about what kind of weapon type you want your Barbarian to use and go for broke. Passive Boosts The Barbarian also has the ability to boost his own stamina, natural defense, movement speed, and resistance without the need to track down gear to focus on these factors, becoming a paragon of combat potential while not having to worry about that proper gear setup immediately. Naturally, you'll want to, of course, find better gear later on, but it doesn't really serve as a huge focus too early on in the game. The Barbarian is a fantastic frontline warrior and a staple, both in Diablo's aesthetic as well as its lore, appearing in every consecutive game after the first, and even the warrior's design in Diablo 1 gives those same vibes. The children of Bull Cathos are as much a staple in Diablo's legacy as it comes. But what do you think of the upgraded ability designs? The Barbarian always had a simple aesthetic, so did they do well on keeping to it, or is it too much? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more class skill showcases from Diablo 2 Resurrected.